when you've been appointed as an executor or administrator of a decedent's estate, you are required within 90 days after you are appointed to file an inventory of all the estate's assets. Now, our law in Texas allows you to do an affidavit in lieu of inventory and file that with the court because you do not have to put all of the estate assets of public record, but you still have to do the inventory and give a copy of it to all the beneficiaries. Now, there are certain things to remember when you do an estate inventory for a decedent's estate. One is you do not include things that are not part of the estate. You do not include joint bank accounts that had a right of survivorship or a joint beneficiary who owned that account the minute that person died. You did not include things like life insurance policies, 401ks, or brokerage accounts which had named beneficiaries because those also belong to the named beneficiary the moment that person died and do not belong to the estate. You do include assets of the estate that the decedent owned on the time of his death, even if you have given those assets away or sold them since that time and no longer have them at the time that you do the inventory. The inventory is not a snapshot of what you have right now. It's a snapshot of what the decedent had on the date of his death. And so you be careful to not put any debts on there. It's only a list of assets. You include the house, but not the mortgage. If you have any questions about what to put on the inventory and what not to put on the inventory of a decedent's estate, give me a call. I'm Laura Hurd, and I have been practicing probate law in San Antonio, Texas since 1987.